This is Rhonda, and Rhonda is a food research scientist. Her boss is interested in her creating a new line of sports drinks. So that's kind of the question we want to answer. Can I make my own energy drink? What you're going to do is create your own energy drink, and you're going to create an infomercial about it. In that infomercial, you're going to spend some time talking about the ingredients and the chemistry of those ingredients. So the real focus here is what gives an energy drink energy and what ingredients are you going to include and how do those ingredients work to provide energy. So take a second and uh, you can pause the video and answer which question, uh, which statement best applies to you. Same thing here. So here's Rhonda, and um, her boss is asking her to develop an energy drink. He's a big Red Bull uh, drinker, and she knows that athletes often use these energy drinks as a type of fuel. Um, so they're going to do some research in de to develop an energy drink, and what does that look like? So we're also going to do some research. Our research is going to start with a biological definition of energy. Like, what does that mean? So in this unit, you're going to first find out about biological energy. Then you're going to learn some more about atoms, elements, and chemical bonds. Now, one of the main ingredients is going to be water. So we need to understand the role of water. If we add carbonation to our energy drink, that's going to make it acidic. So we need to understand acids and bases. Finally, uh, we want to start looking up organic molecules, proteins, carbohydrates, and nucleic acids, and lipids, and what do those things do? And do we want to put them in our energy drink? We're going to use all that information to come up with our own brand of energy drink and the infomercial that tells us about it. So where should you start? i start by asking up some questions and following up this idea of energy. Uh, what is energy? How is it different than other types, like biological? How is it different than solar, let's say? Where do we get it? What are the processes involved? How do we store it? Uh, what do we use it for? Those kind of questions. So you're going to want to follow those links on Schoology to read uh, 1.15, 1.16. That will tell you all about energy and the chemical reactions. You're going to want to take some notes or create a graphic. Somehow you want to uh, get a summary of that information. Uh, you can continue to use the reading check idea, but you need to get a summary of that kind of information so you can go back and uh, see it later. Also, you're going to want to look at 13.39, which talks a lot about nutrition. So you're going to want to understand mi micronutrients and macronutrients. But as you're reading, whether it's today or some other day, keep the big picture in mind. Keep that big goal in mind. Uh, what kind of energy will you develop? What are the ingredients of it, and what do those ingredients do? So once you read those sections, ask yourself the questions again. Like, do you now know what energy means and how biological energy is different and the different types of biological reactions like endothermic, exothermic, catabolic, anabolic? Uh, do you understand calories and how we measure energy in food? Do you understand what some different vitamins and minerals are and how they might be useful? Keeping track of that information is going to help you uh, put together your project. All right, so keep those summaries handy because you're going to want to look back at those summaries when you are doing your infomercial.